So everything is going to trigger right now, right here, right now. So does it work in the order that I think it does? It's going to shuffle five level two champions into the deck, double stats, draw one of them. And then if there is a five cost that out, let's see if it works. God, Darius, it didn't work. That's so fucking sick. Oh my God. <laughs> that is so sick. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Jigs and Nothing Wrong and we are here with Diego to end it all off. To start your Saturday in a great way. It's 12 a.m. once again. You guys know when I get off of work, it's a merry fun time. And thank you guys for the shout outs from the different countries. That was just really cool to see. Uh, we're actually going to be doing Star Forge Gauntlets, Deadly Harpoon to hit the actual Titanic to make him 8 costs. And we're going with Oath of the Guardians. Now, I was thinking about Oath of the Guardians with Star Gem, but then I just realized that there's no need for me to do that because the cost reduction is going to be crazy because the stats of the card is already going to be uh, doubled. So it, it's going to be crazy, and I'm going to draw one of them anyway. So that, to me, is just absolutely insane. I could also try to order this in a weird way that uh, Oath of the Guardians, maybe Oath of the Guardians triggers first and then Found Fortune triggers in case one of the... Oh my god, do I want to do that? Does it actually do that in that order? Does it do that in that order? Wait a minute. That would be really interesting. You know, does it do that in that order? The summon effects and the support effects actually have it in that Oh, oh my god, I have to try it. I have to try it. Uh, I want to see if the shuffle happens first, then the found fortune triggers. Then I definitely don't want the harpoon. And let's go with cease. I'm so sorry. I have to try this out because that just seems funny because it's just the kale the kale aspect of it was really really funny to me uh, and we'll see if we can pick a champion if 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 one of these hits a five cost champion then I'll draw one and then if found fortune will pick one of them out of my hand it just has to be five costs and it will come into my hand with an epic item which would be insane if that happens even once in this video if it happens once in this video I said if it happens once in this video you have to like and subscribe and comment or at least in the comment section that means you watch this part put in the uh, put in the comments what champion it actually was if it happens multiple times you have to put the multiple champions it doesn't matter so let's go into it what is our actual challenge going to be uh it's going to be this guy galio and it's the cage match which is like literally one of the most boring annoying it's gonna put me to sleep challenges that you have i think they should take it out i don't think it's that intuitive is that you just can't win it gives me the interestingness of trying to like potentially find an alt win con but all the alt win con characters are not currently poc characters so and it's for a minor gemstone so if we lose i really don't care but with Diego, i don't think you can lose unless i fall asleep so hopefully i don't fall asleep hopefully you don't either i'll try to make it spicy for you guys and let's get to it run start I, I gotta we gotta go we gotta go because uh, i already know how slow and uh annoying this fight is going to be might as well just take that he really doesn't need it but where goal is to just see if the found fortune thing works we don't have the other champion currently so not really much to do there and we have about what is it round five? Oh my god dude what i will be doing just so you guys are aware i will 120 thousand percent uh be a <laughs> hundred thousand percent will be like skipping like if i have control of the match like by a lot i will skip and say that the match is over i'm not gonna waste your guys time and i'm not gonna waste mine uh it's just not gonna happen all right so we were able to get a unit out that's all i really wanted we're gonna chump block this guy this guy's gonna be stunned into infinity and as you guys know all it takes is one what is it? One Shape of Fear. Oh, you're overrated. That's kind of funny. Uh, we could do this, but then I'd be screwed. We're going to just do the double block here. He already has the most there, so it really doesn't matter. He could. This is what some call it. So, actually, let's just kill. That's well, mitigating the damage. He could shoot this. Okay. PNZ, not PNZ. -ing. I go for the mitigate the damage stuff, even though I have these Cambodian... If it doesn't hit, it's going to hit one of these. But now I actually can go down to the three range because I have both of my soldiers in hand. So that is a thing. Both of those guys die. Reduce the cost. We took some damage, but it, like I said, just doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't know why he's getting free units. 
All right, so here we go. So everything is going to trigger right now, right here, right now. So does it work in the order that I think it does? It's going to shuffle five level two champions into the deck, double stats, draw one of them. And then if there is a five cost or potentially four cost, because uh, this is already gone, if that's in the deck two, he might pull that out. Let's see if it works. God, Darius. It didn't work. That's so fucking sick. Oh my God. <laughs> That is so sick. I've never thought to do that until now. Viego is just opening my eyes to order Oath of the Guardians and Found Fortune together. I have two of the champions here. And I got cease and desist. This is the first time Viego's ever died. <laughs> and it just actually benefits me in a crazy way. Yum. You have another vehicle in hand. About to say I should be. Even this, even the barrel is ready to go. I'm pretty sure that. Yeah, I don't want. These guys are gonna die. I think to the shot. Spread your fire. Can't win the match, even though I'm going to win the match. Oh, they all have two defense, so it really doesn't matter. We still pass through. Would have won the game. But, uh, game said, no, let's make it more difficult. Absolutely stupid. Literally the worst mechanic ever. <laughs> I'm going to obviously keep the Viego in hand. I would say at this point that the match is in full control. All right, cool. That's fine. We get some healing. I still get the heal. I like that the game does do that. I still get the heal. So we're at 19. Actually, more than that at the end of this. So we get the little heal here at the end. Uh, these are all pretty bad. The instant kill is not bad, but... It's just, they're all terrible. The the Emperor's deck thing might be good. All right, so now we get a character. So picking a five cost character here, like Kale once again. Uh, and she has double attack again. That's just like too good. Too damn good, but we're still gonna be looking for it. It's nice to just get the Found Fortune will always trigger on that regardless. So let's see, we got Solitary Monks, the Slot Bot, and then the Spell Chest. Let's keep stalling. Now, in the first match, obviously, I, I kind of talked a little bit through it. But eventually, I will be like, yeah, we have control of this game. Especially if I have Mahita or something like that. We might even get Kale in the hand now because, yep, why not? Of course. What was I thinking? Literally nothing. He would need a burst speed spell to stop this. And we draw one. We want to keep the deck really lean as well. Nice. You, you cannot. Give beef jerky. Oh, how's that make you feel, huh? How's that make you feel? Let's wreck it. Um, we could easily do this. We get two of them. Blockers anonymous. Kale can die, I think, right? Okay, we actually have our home friend in the building. I love it when my units die. Are you kidding me? It's like Christmas. Oh, it's so good. Oh, the job's about to be done, Frog. The job is definitely done. Woo! Holy fire, burn away the darkness. 
I mean, she already has double attack, so it doesn't matter. Um, oh, there she is. There's Mama. Absent in my care. Probably. For us. Give me that, Nora. Give me another Kale. That this one's turn to zero should mean yes, it's actually the champion's bow. So that's actually pretty good if I already have Kale out on the field. That's a really nice to know. Um, I mean just it doesn't matter. Start. To just it doesn't. Actually smart actually that was actually smart play accidentally. Getting the uh heal on the left or else I wouldn't have actually healed. Easy, baby. Easy. Now, does the stun go first or does Viego go first? Because I don't want to steal. Oh, it stuns and then he dies anyway. That 27 Nora. Just saying. GG. Okay. Approaching mist in the deck. We can now look to invest onto it. What was this? This is just a, like a removal card. Yeah, I actually would prefer to remove a card. Make our deck even stronger by not having to draw nonsense. <laughs> uh, like, possession, really bad. What was this? Because eventually we're, this, we're going to the shop. What is this up here? Honored Lord. Honored Lord is putting a blue on your character, so I do like that. This is the mega combo right there. Get the this is this right here is breakfast. This is how you start your day off, Frosted Flakes. You know what I mean? Speaking of Frosted Flakes, can we have a conversation? Have you guys ever had strawberry milkshake or chocolate milkshake Frosted Flakes? Is, is, is anybody in the building within that demographic? Have you ever have you ever done such magical things? Cause it exists. It damn sure does. Mm. Nope. Come here. This guy doesn't have a uh, regen, that's why I did that. You cannot. And we can hit, kill him with the death scraps. Nice and easy. What up, Kale? What up, baby? What up, baby? Okay. Get botten. All right, so this is the smartest thing to do. Kill off. I mean, he can stay stunned forever. We're gonna get two really good units. No overwhelm here, so. There we go. I'm gonna die anyway, gonna die anyway. Helps the team. Oh, there we go. Long as it has four. Bop. Bop. Hey man, it wasn't me that did it. Blame it on the uh, 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 alcohol. I'm gonna scoop baby boy up. That free kale. Into the free kale. <laughs> she has the recorder's mark on her now, which is kind of bad, but. And then we could just. Jax, you guys want that Jax video? Yeah, you're just gonna keep. Yeah, this isn't a. Questionable at best if I keep playing her. She's strong. She's just. Uh, they have too much. Uh, it's kind of annoying. Alright, we hijack one of them. Oh, actually screws me a little bit. 
Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Just want to get rid of this. We miss another one. It's fine. And I just hate how like nonchalant they're playing because they know that they can't die. <laughs> it's so annoying. Literally the worst challenge by like a, t a jillion. Look how like stupid they're playing. Not like stupid, but like they're just they don't care. The AI knows that it's not gonna die, so it's like yeah, it's fine. Easy clap. All right, so we got a curse keeper. I mean, he summons a big fat dude. Free heal. This is the best option. Go to honored lord. Double my power. I mean, <laughs> it's too easy, baby. Cut another card here. We could probably just cut. I don't even know if this card is necessary at this point. Dawning Shadow is probably not necessary at this point. Especially because it's a really fat spell, not a unit. Howling Abyss, let's see if this Howling Abyss can give me some trouble. I like actually having the Encroaching Mist as the first unit. That's kind of funny. And the Viego already in hand. Let's see if you can out champion. I've been constantly drawing Kale. Oops. I've been constantly drawing Kale, but it is possible for me to not draw Kale. Responding, responding. All right, there we go. Sorry about that. There we go. We start off fresh. There we go. See, you're trying to make some decisions here. Oh, we're pushing. We are pushing. All I got to do is hit that four. That's it. You hit the four, it's over. That's why I don't think that you really want to do... I don't think that you want to do anything as far as this should actually kill now, right? Because we get another one. That's it. And that actually trades. I don't think that you want to do any, like, cost reduction thing at all. Like, he already cost reduces, like, by himself. Like, like boom, and there goes another one. Get the Mahita in there for the heal now. Like, the Kale package... It's not that I don't want like to have fun with Viego and then pulling random stuff out of the crack of my ass. It's just that this Mahita is just too damn good. Too damn good. But as you can see, it works. As long as I know that it works, that's pretty much good enough for me. So, yep. Play that. A consistent heal in, in, in these encounters is just paramount. Oh, that's insane of a combo. That's a built-in... Deal eight. Definitely one of the reasons I did not play you. Gotcha, bitch. Leona. That actually could have been reversed. Just saying. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. What, what round is it? What round is it? We're only on round two, bro. Ugh. Ugh. I don't need to do that. Like, this is game. But I gotta sit in this stupid game because of this stupid challenge. <laughs> it's so annoying. It's so annoying. Who thought of this? I actually think it would be more interesting. Oh my god. Like, if it was just like, yo, like, you have to do it, uh, win in this way, or win in exact damage, or something like that. That would have been more interesting. Like, it's just like. This is just like whack. What about the second one? Yeah, we probably won't be doing that. Ooh, okay. Oh, wait, the combo is comboing. The combo is actually comboing. I'm just kidding, you're dead. But. <laughs> Don't, just, just leave. leave. Just stop trying. Life would be so much easier if you just stop trying. I'm just, um, I just want you to know that. <laughs> what round is it? It's round five. I can win. There it is. They, 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 they tried. That was, that was cute. 
Does it really matter the, the cost more? I mean, actually, that makes no sense. Plus three, plus three would cost one more, or just plus three, plus three, and it's like, oh, you know, definitely gotta go with the one more. <laughs> makes no sense. See if we can get a good power here, just to make the game a little bit more interesting. When you summon a, oh, that's just gross. <laughs> it's absolutely gross. Um, item chest, bell chest. Um, let's just make the deck even stupider. I, I don't, <laughs> let's just, let's just make it as dumb as possible. Perfect. Curse Keeper into Death Graphs. Nuts. Nuts. I'll show you right now what's out there. Called Regret. <laughs> These things are going to be way more, way bigger. Alright, can't kill this, but I eh, might as well tickle your ammo. It's not like I can beat the game faster, so like dealing some damage, allowing that lovely overwhelm to do the Lord's work a little bit later. Why not? One more death actually allows me to play the Viego. We get scooping. Perfect. That's very cute. Oh yeah, that's their passive thing. Like you, Nixie. All right. Eh, who cares? My queen. Varys. Hey, Trundle, okay. We, we got, what is it, Gangplank? Obviously Kale, and now Trundle. Hope you guys are keeping track. Hope you guys are keeping track. Nice, good job. You're really good at the game. Double attack trundle is dire fucking bollocal. Oh my god. The ice pillar is gonna have enough attack to pierce the, to pierce the heavens. That's gonna be just hilarious. I was like, why are you drawing so much because of the sands here? I'll make a sense. All right, that's fine. We could easily do this. That's an easy double draw. I mean, double thrall. Missed. I don't, shut up. <laughs> I don't really need to heal. We could just... Actually, let's just get these out of the way, right? One smack will do. Yabba dabba do. Alright, we're building a bear. Alright, stone weaving. Yes, thank you for wasting our time with those effects. Appreciate you, big dog. But I would say it's round three, but I feel like this match is under control. So we are going to skip to the end. All right. Like I said, it got it on lock. Have a Lucian here, because why not? Varus in the building. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's over. And nice uh, when I'm summoning Gromi to an 8-8. Actually useless, but, um... I would rather draw a Viego than these two cards, so. <laughs> so that's just a nice, fun little passive on the boy. Healing? No, we're just gonna keep cutting cards. I think this card is dead at this point. Going to the shop just to get a power here. Explosive finale? Absolutely. I could have rerolled that. That was bad. <laughs> Definitely gonna reroll that for something better. Vengeance is actually pretty good. Especially with Power Rift, we have some draw power. Not the best, but some. And I think that is good. We're gonna go over to item chest versus champion item chest. What, what, what did we do? This fight is usually funnier because if the, when they attack, they just get these uh, Tiana crown guards and start rallying like crazy. But uh, 
I think this is better. We can get maybe one more fun thing on Viego before the end. There we go. That's how the lottery works. All right, so I'm gonna just bounce you back. Hoping for a, a cheaper thing. There we go. That's why you minimize the deck. That is just good mulligan and then this card is, you know, might be useful. Probably not, if I'm being honest. Oh, we're already taunting. All right, let me check my taunts. Oh wait, everything's old. Oh yeah, I forgot that they did this, right? Like, that's embarrassing, bro. Like, 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 <laughs> why would you taunt me? That's embarrassing. Sunken cost, of course, of course. Boop. Into another shape of fear. All right, we got the sixes. Easy. Nothing to it but to do it. So that's pretty good. Get this. Drop it down. Scoop the poop. Scoop the de whoop. Yeah, I definitely want to kill that. Very annoying. Very annoying. Let me do it. Why are there two of you? We're going to draw two cards here. I'm just going to be pulling that too. Karma? Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. Oh, no, dude. Of course. Karma doesn't even make sense, by the way. It's just funny. Most of the cards, like, never would make a difference. Where there is light, there is hope. There we go. Give me, give me that good stuff. Okay. Heh heh. Card doesn't work like that. Okay, we got a scout attack on Karma. This card is uh, interesting. I do get to draw two. I'm about to say, if you deny that somehow, or would not have deny the other one, right of uh, right of negation, that would have been nuts. Okay, we we doing something to the deck. Cards. Are, wait, what are you? Kasapuku! <laughs> what the hell? My man Silver Karma level two on turn twenty turn two. He's like, yeah, I'm good on that, big bro. Alright, so get the scout on Mahira. Our reward. Viego play start a free attack. I mean why not? Making my dragon, I guess. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway. Been an absolute fantastical run, but you know what the boys gotta say. Hold on, let me let me get in the proper position. Get out of my deck. Uh, it's the grand slaughter. All right, look, this is this is fun, but has that not been done before? Am I losing my mind? The oath into the found fortune. Now, obviously, uh, since he is a natural six cost himself, I feel like the the threshold is pretty cool, and since he doesn't have a five. And his other thing is a four like the it really works really well like let's just say if i were to do this on ari and i don't think it would work that well because the fat like the found fortune would have to be like what teemo <laughs> or something like that like it, it has to be a teemo that would get pulled out of the deck or, or sorry annie zoe uh, anything of that nature but with viego and since he has a nice really cool built-in way to reduce his self uh, at all times it's just like it's just that that actually where I don't think anyone's done that and if they have I'm sorry but like I've never seen that done before so yeah exactly that Galio <laughs> all right don't need the vehicle just relax a little okay we just <laughs> just 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 a tad bit just a tad bit I thought I was gonna draw him again anyway that would have been funny all right this is all we need right here I think this is more interesting because I don't really have Manifest or Invoke to get a random champion in the hand. So I do feel like that was cooler. I'm a, I was about to say, I'm a little scared. 
That's actually annoying. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, my man's got the hand. He's got a hand. This little hand of yours. He's gonna make it shine. Damn. A little scary. Damn. Um, we actually... Oh, I was about to say, everything's too damn thick. Um, I could get countered here by... Ah, uh, I think we have to take... No, damn. He pulls me in and all this other damage. I have to go for this, actually. Uh, the other option here would be the Cambodian soldier here. But this... This is like super win more. Yeah, exactly. It's super win more. I got greedy. But I feel if he did that... I had no units. The other option here was to actually play the Cambodian soldier. Yeah, I would have survived by just playing the other cards. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, got caught with my pants down a little bit. Galio with a showing a little bit of sign of resistance. Will I actually end up losing? I mean, I'm about to say all I really need is a shape of fear type of hand. Pump that back. Uh, we'll keep that as well. If I get a one drop plus the shape of fear, that can't happen again. What a strong hand he had, though. Shyvana with the other thing, and then Galio came out afterwards. Oh boy. When the deck is too damn thin. Uh, this is actually kind of scary. We might end up losing in the same way. Uh, this can't kill me though, since we're always stunning one. I'll pass one more time. I feel a little bit safer here now. And that's the same thing that happened before. This is burst speed, though. So, similar situation, but... Oh, my. What a kill shot, dude. That is a Oko of the Heavens. Uh, we could try... I think it's kind of important here to try... I don't even know. That's, uh, that's strong. All right, we get two blockers here. And now we're always on Galio duty. And now we have this. Nothing here is gonna die to that. So we just play another encroaching miss. He pulls one, that's fine. Pass? I may be made of stone, but I'm all heart. Yeah, I'm all Viego. <laughs> it's kind of the same thing, but not really. All right, so when we play Viego here, um, it's kind of concerning. So that, no, I think I just have to play Viego. He, um, the problem though, is that when playing Viego, I mean, I have a barrier and some other nonsense. Wait, why did I put free attack on him anyway? I just realized how stupid that is. Here goes Teemo. We're technically still safe right now. Technically. End turn. Wow. I'm not expecting him to do that. Only the guilty fear me. I'll actually pull this first. I will find her. This is elusive. <laughs> we got elusive on her for some reason. Hey, I don't, maybe there might be something missing that I just don't understand as far as like why he's being so passive, but it does work. Like he has, all right. <laughs> hey man, don't let me distract you from a good time. Oh, that's annoying. 
I feel bad for you. Wait, do I get the rally? On wings of fire, hope ascends. AI too shook. You guys let me know in the comment section, was, did the AI actually have a play there? This one's dangerous because it's actually they strike the Nexus, so it's uh, a little bit different. Um, I mean, might as well use your units against you, right? Waste his rally. Like, is is the AI should the AI actually like just do a play? Like, is it is it actually best for them to just be sitting here doing nothing? Oh, that's pretty interesting. There we go. Make some board space for you, for me. Okay. Nice little setup there. Uh, still can play this. As long as we have blockers for them, like the 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 pulling aspect is kind of what's saving them, or what would have gave them that lethal. But they got the rally, but the rally doesn't really matter here. We are actually on round five, so this is the this is the best you're gonna have to do. And we're gonna put everything here to the left. And these two on the right, just because of how much damage they can push. I was saying, I figured there'd be some attacks there, but nowhere near enough. Oh my god, just <laughs> so much damage. Anyway, it's gonna be it for your heroes. Boosting up the damage of the units, pushing that fan, no damage. Oh, wait. Was able to block something. Didn't block with Galio at all. Well, they have fearsome. Diego has fearsome. Shout out to Timo. But that's all she wrote. Galio with the, the the showing a little bit of resilience there. He's like, "Yo, I'm the next Demacian uh, champion. Uh, heads up." <laughs> there it is. Our eternal reward. Yeah, show us what doing the hardest challenge gets you. There you go. That makes me feel so much better. <laughs> hey, we got a gold vault. Inspire me. Caitlin? Okay. And that's all she wrote for the weekly challenges. Diego taking out all three with relative ease. Oh, for unfortunate. You guys got to let me know if anyone's do that. It's really important about the order of things. That's just so cool. Uh, especially, like I said, if we didn't have a five or a four star champion. If I'm not mistaken, there's a decent amount of. I just want to see this just for the end of the video. So, yeah, four, five star. These are all the five star champions. Wait, can I switch to just champion? There it is. So, there's a decent amount of options, right? Like, five is like pretty decent. I don't know how many out of the bunch, but yeah, there was a decent amount of options. So let's just see. So, one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, five. So five times four is 20, so 23. 23 options out of uh, calculator. Uh, <laughs> oh, actually, no, it's just 23 options of five. Kale being one of the five anyway, so we would have always, as long as we would have hit one of these, Kale, putting Kale in the deck guarantees that it will trigger on a five cost, but it was cool to see that Karma came out, Gangplank came out, uh, it could have been Pike, Swain, but we got Swain like the regular draw. And uh, that was just really cool. Uh, Val Vladimir was in there, so we would have picked Vladimir if uh, Kale wasn't in the deck. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. That was super fun. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.